you guys. I was just checking out my daily racing form when I heard the call to post. So I said, oh my gosh, it must be five o'clock here. So as many of y'all know, this week would have been the last week of the Keeneland Spring Meet. And for those of y'all who don't know, Keeneland is the most gorgeous racetrack in the world. It is located in my hometown of Lexington, Kentucky. It has one of the qualifying races for the Kentucky Derby, which is the Bluegrass Stakes, which is why y'all, that's one of the main reasons that the Derby was postponed was not just because yes, it's a big party and there's tons of people, but also because um, there's no qualifying races. So they have, you can't have horses to actually qualify for the Derby to have the Derby. So <sighs> springtime in Kentucky is nothing without Keeneland. And Keeneland is, it's the greatest time of year. The weather is gorgeous. The grass is green. The bars are full. The telebedding is open. The burgoo's hot. There's just a lot, a lot of great things to do, like tailgating and spending money you shouldn't be spending because you don't know how to greet a daily racing form. And you think that betting on a superfecta just sounds really cool. I do know what a superfecta is, but I'm really, really crap at betting. But what I'm not crap at is finding good drinks. So because we can't all go and bet on the ponies at Keeneland or eat burgoo or, you know, just hang out in the paddock and watch the beautiful ponies go by, or perhaps have a few too many Bloody Marys and buy a really expensive fascinator at that gorgeous hat stand right outside the Keeneland shop. You know if you've done it. I've been called off of it quite a few times, but they're gorgeous. But if we can't party like we're at Keeneland, we can at least drink like we're at Keeneland. So today, I'm going to be doing a drink called the Keeneland Breeze. I have my lily on, my pearls on, my non-spiky heels. That part's a lie. But if you do go to Keeneland, make sure you wear wedges or flats because it's grass and cobblestone. You are not going to enjoy yourself if you are wearing spiky heels. Anyhow, this one is called the Keeneland Breeze. It features Kentucky's favorite redhead, Maker's Mark, who is also dressed up for the occasion, and a little bit more of our vitamin C friend to keep us healthy. This is a great cocktail to drink on the roof, on the porch, wherever there are no people you know, social distancing, but it's a great warm weather cocktail and it allows you to drink, you know, bourbon and also feel good about it because you're enhancing your immune system with vitamin C. Uh, not a doctor, just letting you know. Disclaimer, not a doctor. Anyways, so let's get started and let's pretend that we're drinking a Keeneland breeze in the breezeway and we're about to watch all of the horses being led by their jockeys and owners out to the paddock. And we say, wow, that's a beautiful one. I'm gonna bet on 15. And then you do, and then you lose, but it's okay. Cause you go and buy another $15 Bloody Mary and you're having the time of your life. So let's get started. So, the original uh, Keeneland Breeze cocktail that they make at Keeneland is meant for quick service. So since we're all at home, I thought I would dress it up a little bit. So we are going to start out with two ounces of Maker's Mark, and I'm just using regular Maker's Mark. You can use Private Select, you can use 46. I mean, if you wanna feel like really fancy, you can use cask strength, um, but I'm just using regular Maker's Mark, so 45% alcohol, 90 proof. So here we go. And fun fact, actually, so they still do at Keeneland, they still, um, they, they do a live call to post every race. It's beautiful. Steve Buttleman, a, um, a Louisville musician, took it over um, from, from George Sally, who was there for like half a century. 
I mean, those who have been to Keeneland in the past decade know him. He's a portly guy and he goes out there with his bugle and it's, I get teary eyed thinking about it, especially when you have a beautiful day. And that's not just the bourbon talking. It really is a special place. You know, Keeneland is not just there for horse racing. It's also there as the largest American auction, or I'm sorry, huh, the largest thoroughbred auction house in the entire world. There's three sales that go on at Keeneland. And the uh, airport, actually, the Bluegrass Airport in Lexington had to extend its runway to accommodate all of the 747s and the big private jets that would fly in for the sales. The Queen owns land in Kentucky. Um, the Saudi uh, princes do, um, the Prince of Dubai comes to these sales. <laughs> they all own horses. I mean, the horse business is big and it is, we take it really, really seriously. And so when people talk about Keeneland, like it's the real deal, man. So we're gonna dress this up with a little bit of Cointreau. We're gonna do half an ounce. You know, I actually uh, interviewed when I was in grad school for a job at Kaplan doing test prep. And they said, come in and teach us something. And so I taught them about how to do a basic bet at a horse, at a horse race. And I was like, well, this is a superfecta. This is how you box. This is a trifecta. Uh, I got the job. I've never really won anything, but I do know how the mechanics work. I just can't pick the right horses. Um, but yeah, no, it's Keeneland has been around since 1936. It's absolutely gorgeous. And um, make sure you dress up. Gentlemen, wear a jacket. Maybe wear a hat if you want. You don't have to wear a tie. You should wear a bow tie maybe. Uh, ladies wear a dress or a skirt or like some nice slacks. Like look nice. Folks go there to look nice, to dress up. It is the thing. Lully Pulitzer for all genders, highly, Highly recommended. Same thing with Vineyard Vines. Vineyard Vines, Lily Pulitzer. It's like the brands of horse racing in Kentucky. Trust me. They do it for uh, the Derby too. Um, and it is never the wrong choice. Pastels, always. Perfect. So anyhow, uh, we're going to put some orange juice in this too. So some fresh squeezed orange juice because, you know, get that immune system going. And so like I said, um, Keelan was started in 1936 and it, it has run two seasons in the spring and the fall. It's always so funny. I always remember exactly what the Keelan seasons are because, well, duh, but also because my sister's birthday is in April. April is always the spring meet and my birthday is in October and that's always the fall meet. So it's perfect for our birthdays except for this time because she can't go because it's closed. Um, yeah. Then we're gonna pop in a little bit of orange bitters. And so I was gonna use my Fee Brothers, but I popped off the top by accident. And um, when I was making my test cocktail, I put way too much bitters in there. So uh, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna use my Regan's, yay. Um, but yeah, if you ever have a chance to go to Lexington, and I highly, highly suggest that you should after all of this is over, first off, it's beautiful, great food, great people, wonderful people. Um, but definitely go to Keeneland, even if it's not racing season. You might be able to see some sales. Um, they do a lot of exercising of the horses. Um, you can also just go and walk around and like see the track, go to the store. It's, it's a beautiful place, you won't regret it. And now we're gonna do one dash. So remember, one, two, three, or about a sixth-ish of a tablespoon. No, sixth-ish of a teaspoon. Oh, that's what the other one was. It was like a whole tablespoon, it was awful. And now we're gonna pop ice in here. And so the cool thing about Keeneland too is that it's supposed to be hosting the Breeders' Cup for the second time. It happened in 2015. They all said we couldn't do it, but we did it. It was beautiful. And we're gonna be hosting the Breeders' Cup um, in November of this year, if things subside. Um, I'm sure they're already talking about it, but hopefully that does happen and hopefully everyone is well and healthy and we're back on track. But uh, the Breeders' Cup is also super cool. It's two days of racing. I think it's the 5th and the 6th or the 6th and the 7th in November of this year. And it's it's a, it's just as big of a deal, if not even bigger a deal, than uh, the Triple Crown. Um, so American Pharaoh, cool fact. Um, so he ran the Bluegrass Stakes at Keeneland and won. 
he won the Belmont Stakes and he won the Preakness and he won the Breeders' Cup. So he did all of the things. Um, so American Pharaoh, like, whoa, living his best life at Ashford Stud now. Let's shake this sucker. Keeneland, oh, I miss it so much. I really do. You can get bread pudding. You can get good brisket. I don't know why, I always get Bloody Marys though. Probably because I'm there at like noon, so. All right, so this is kind of a two-parter drink, right? So we already mixed it up here. Ah, I didn't do it right. And now I'm gonna double strain this into my Maker Spark glass. I actually got this from the Keeneland Clubhouse. Uh, they were doing a like, get a drink and also get a free glass. Um, so that was fun. So we're gonna fill this up maybe about uh, two thirds, three quarters of the way with our drink. And then we are going to pop some ice in there. And I'm gonna be lazy and use the ice that I actually just shook with because my ice maker um, is really mad at me. And I put too much in there, so. It happens, not everything's perfect. There we go. And then we are going to top it with, uh, the recipe says ginger ale, but everybody in Kentucky knows ginger ale means ale eight one, caffeinated ginger beer. It's wonderful. Also really good for hangovers or if you're sick. It's like the best. I always have some hanging around. So thanks guys. Um, so anyhow, so I'm then just gonna top it with my ginger ale. And then I'm just gonna give that just a little, little stir there. And then we are going to garnish with an orange wheel. Where are you Maker's Mark? Oh, there it is, it's in white. Now, isn't that a beautiful redhead? Cheers, everyone. And I hope to see you all at Keeneland, whether it be in the fall, next spring, or who knows when all this is gonna be over. But I can't wait to have some bourbon with all of you on the track. Cheers, y'all. Mm.